Well, here we go, back again with another video. Yes, and you probably, everybody out there apart from me, knows by now that Nathan Broadhead has gone to Wigan on loan. Nathan Broadhead has gone to Wigan on loan when he was very close to signing for Sunderland. Now, originally, the recruitment team wanted Broadhead at Sunderland, then Alex Neil had his doubts to do with his injury process, and it was still close to coming to Sunderland, but when Ellis Sims became available, Ellis Sims became available, Alex Neil jumped to the opportunity of getting Alex, Ellis, Neil, Ellis, Ellis, Neil, Ellis Sims. Alex Neil wanted Ellis Sims rather than Nathan Broadhead. And I think there's a few stumbling blocks. I think the first stumbling block was to do with rumours out there to do with money. There was rumours out there to do with, obviously, his injury prone over the last few years. And, of course, Alex Neil allegedly has said this. Now, this has came out on social media. Now, I don't know if this is true. Apparently, it's wise men say it, SAFC. We needed players who were going to come here and back themselves and believe that they are going to contribute to what we are doing. It takes a certain type of mentality to do this, to do that. This is a club because of its scrutiny and the pressure that comes, that comes with it. Sometimes... That's not what for everybody. Alex Neil and Nathan Broadhead joining Wigan. On to the next target. We don't need players who demand guaranteed starts and don't want competition. So we read in between the lines, maybe Broadhead wanted guaranteed starts. That's where, that's probably the reason why he got to Wigan. He'll probably get guaranteed starts at Wigan. There's no doubt about it that Nathan Broadhead is a very talented player. He's very... It's very young, I think it's very young for his age. He's 24, but I think in playing terms, he's still, he's still very young for his age. So, but, you know, so Broadhead probably would want, at the age of 24, guaranteed starts. Now, I don't know if we get guaranteed starts at any club, to be fair, but I think he, want, he wants guaranteed starts. And with Sims and Stewart being at Sunderland, and them having a good partnership at the weekend and doing really well. And Sims looks good. Now, people say Broadhead is fast. I think Sims looks faster. It'd be interesting to see in the 100-metre sprint who would come out on top. But the way I saw Sims run on Saturday, he does think to be very piercing and very speedy. Now, Broadhead to Wigan. You know, I wish Wigan all the best in the upcoming season. Nothing, nothing, nothing against Wigan whatsoever. And I wish Nathan Broadhead all the best. I do like him as a player. I seems like a really nice person as well. I think there's a lot to give. Now, whether it's the championship standard, we'll, we'll, we'll find out this season for Wigan. So I do wish Nathan Broadhead all the best. For me, the reason why he hasn't come to Sunderland is because he wants guaranteed starts. And Alex Neil, like he said, it's about competition in every position at this club. Now, competition at every position, I don't think is kind of happening at the moment because we haven't got that much of a strong squad as it shows from the team here against Sheffield Wednesday at the moment. Now, I've had a really good long hard think about this, this, this game tomorrow, Sheffield Wednesday. And I think there's one or two little changes, one or two little tweaks. Now, Diaku, Diaku apparently has a bit of a, a bit of a niggle off the weekend and won't be playing tomorrow night. So Diaku is out of the game tomorrow night. Sims and Stewart will not be starting and I don't think he'll start anybody at all that will start at the weekend that started at the weekend just gone and that potentially will be playing against QP on Saturday so this will be a completely different different shape different size different team shape and size different team than, than what's happened on Saturday so what will happen now Jack Diamond Jack Diamond Jack Diamond he, he'd been out alone for two seasons at Harrogate in League Two. The next step to progress Jack Diamond would be a League One loan. Now, rumours out there, it was on, where, where was it? I think, I think it was Nick Barnes who did mention, Fleetwood are in the front running in League One to sign Jack Diamond on loan. So Jack Diamond, for me, needs to be on the shop window tomorrow. The same as with someone else I'm going to put here at left left wing back in the shop window now whether these people are picked up on loan or whether they can improve themselves and push for a place in the championship is highly unlikely but possible so diamond for me as we saw in the in the pre-season has played as a striker so tomorrow 
I'm going to say Diamond is going to start up front for Sunderland. He's not going to play Sims. He'll have, he'll have, he might have Sims and Stuart on the bench. He may have the other players on the bench. But start and line up. I think Diamond will be up there at the front. I think Diamond will be there in the shop window trying to prove that A, he'd be good in League One on loan. And B, that it, he wants to push for a place at Sunderland as well. But, you know, I don't think in League One last season he was really anywhere near him with a starting chance. So tomorrow against Sheffield Wednesday, that will be a good gauge for, for, for Jack Diamond himself, for Alex Neil looking, and for other teams wanting to loan out Jack Diamond, a good gauge to see how he does so for me there. Now on this side, the only other place left, the only other player I think has an opportunity of playing on Saturday would be Trey Hume. But he really has to have a good game tomorrow night because I think, you know, Gooch is really under the skin of Alex Neil at this moment in time. So on this side, there was this lad who played alongside, uh, alongside Taylor. I think he's been up here a couple of times. Now, I think he did look quite good. It was against Hartlepool where they linked quite well, Taylor and, and Sohona. Now, Sohona plays well down the left-hand side and does track back and he did defend well against Hartlepool and he did play quite well up front against Hartlepool. Different level against Sheffield Wednesday again, shot window, possible loan coming forward. Now how old Sohona? Is he 20? I'm not quite sure if he's aged. Someone let me know down in the comments below. He could progress into a decent side, left side of player. And if he's young enough and still unproven, he may possibly be on the periphery of the, 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 the subs bench while we do not have a strong squad at this moment in time. So. I'm going to say Sohona. Now, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but I think that's the person, me, will be down the left-hand side in the Jack Clark position as wing-back. Now, if he performs really well tomorrow night and really shows he's improving with every game, he may be somebody, for instance, if Jack Clark does get injured, touch what he doesn't, or, you know, <clears throat> Serkin's playing at centre-back so we don't get another centre-back in, it could be someone that may come in into Alex Neal's in their mind because these young players, these young players, sometimes they take it in, in, in stages to improve. They may not improve for a while, then suddenly they make a step up and improve. Maybe he might bulk out, he may, he may get a bit fitter, a bit stronger, and all of a sudden they improve again. So he could be one of these players that might actually improve again. Oh, I want to wish Sohona and Diamond all the best and all the team. Emerson will start, Roberts will start for me tomorrow night, and that's the team I, I predict. I predict will start tomorrow night. So there we go. But again, I do wish Broadhead all the best at Wigan. Wish him all the best. It's a shame he's not at Sunderland, but I don't think he would be in the starting 11. I really don't. I think the way Sims and Stewart played on Saturday, they'd be down on the, on the team sheet first. And I think Broadhead would be someone would play possibly if, if one of those two got, got a bit tired or got injured. You know, if we don't get injured. Or we change the system. We had someone on the left-hand side like Clark. And Clark, again, has done really well. Or Clark got tired. So Broadhead, you know, at his age, he's 24. He wants to be playing first-team football. He wants to be playing the majority of games. And he wouldn't get that at Sunderland. So again, I wish him all the best. Don't forget, live stream tomorrow night. Sheffield Wednesday versus Sunderland down at Hillsborough. And hopefully that'll be, that'll be the team. Hopefully, my, my estimate, that's my that's my rough guess. Because with Diaku, it's got a bit of a niggle. And he won't... He, Jack, you might not even make the bench tomorrow. You might not even make the bench tomorrow. So there we go. I wish them all the best tomorrow. Please subscribe to the channel. We're getting close to 15k. Only just over 100 and, and scraps to 15k. Take care. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow night, hopefully, for the live stream. Thank you for watching this video. I decided to come on because everybody else has been on doing a Broadhead one. People have been asking us on the comments in, in certain areas, what's your thoughts on Broadhead? And there we go. I would like to, I'd like to see them at the club is a reserve striker on the bench. But I wish him all the best at Wigan. Take care and we'll see you later.